What factors affect drop size? This is the third video in our series of videos on basic nozzle knowledge, and this video covers drop size. Now this is an important topic in spray nozzles. Drop size is very important, because effectively what it is, it is a measure of surface area of a spray. So the smaller the drop size, the bigger the surface area, and the bigger the surface area, the more heat transfer we get, the more chemical interaction we get. So it's very, very important for many, many spray applications. When I go through all of these factors, I'm gonna chuck up some formulas for calculating them for some of them. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this. I'm gonna to refer to a technical article we've written for further reading on this. The first factor that affects drop size is pressure. So if we're spraying at different pressures, we'll get different drop size. The higher the pressure, the lower the drop size. Now for any specific nozzle, this can be calculated using this formula. Here. Second factor that affects drop size is the spray pattern type. We looked at the four basic spray pattern types in a previous video. Solid stream nozzles, they don't really have a drop size. It's not really applicable here. Flat fan nozzles typically have the biggest drop size, then full cone nozzles, and then finally hollow cone nozzles with the smallest drop size typically. The next factor is the spray angle. So flat fan, full cones, and hollow cones all have a spray angle, and the wider the spray angle, the smaller the drop size will be. However, there's a slight quirk in that. In some of the very wide spray angles, actually the drop size starts to creep up again. So if we're looking at 150 or 170 degree spiral nozzles, for example, they will actually have a bigger drop size than say 90 degree nozzles of the same type. Next, we need to look at the fluid properties themselves. So how do the properties of the fluid being sprayed affect drop size as well? Basic drop size calculations will be calibrated for water, so water spraying through that nozzle. So if we're spraying different fluids, we actually need to adjust the drop size to get an accurate drop size for the fluid we're actually spraying. So specific gravity of the fluid has an effect on drop size, and this can be adjusted using this formula here. The viscosity of the fluid can affect drop size, and it can be calculated by using this formula here. And the surface tension is the other factor that can affect drop size, so that can be calculated using this formula here. And go into more details on this in the technical article that I'll link below this video. Good news is, is we have tools that can calculate all of this for you. So you can come to us with the basic fluid properties and the pressure you want to spray out and the nozzle you want to use. We can do all those calcs for you. So we can take that hassle out of it for you. So that's our video on drop size and the factors that affect drop size. I hope you found it useful.